I don't know whether that was face or pat, but one of y'all had a hard ass swallow pause. What the fuck was that, nigga? Oh, gulp face ass, nigga. What the fuck? Smoke, smoke make me sneeze. I'm sorry. God damn, nigga. What the hell was you drinking, nigga? Oh, she was thick as fuck. Damn, nigga, nigga drinking pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my bad, man. Oh man, maybe these headphones, man. But I can hear everything. Peanut butter slurpee. Oh, that's disgusting. Very much so. I don't even like. But a peanut butter, butter milkshake would be good though. Oh, 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 oh God, that was just actually all right. Allergic. You ever had a peanut butter blizzard? I'm, I'm allergic like, to oh, nuts, God. man. No pause, no homo. <laughs> Any kind of nuts, man. Pecan, oh, peanuts. You know yo, yo, that's how hard that Coconut. nigga gulp. Yo, Rodney, that's how hard that nigga gulp, man. What <laughs> the fuck what you drinking? God damn, man. This water don't make you sound like that. Yeah, that was God damn. Man. <laughs> this is the greatest maple syrup uh, ever. Yo, I'm serious, yo. That's your, yo. Yo, your ass gonna fucking die. You drinking quicksand. God damn. Peace, kings. Peace, queens. Peace to all the newcomers. Peace to all the OG pod squatters. Peace, my people. What is good? What is good? It is your boys. Yet another week. Yet another week. Yet another week. It is us, the partners. We back for another episode of You Didn't Ask Us, but the Partners Reaction Show where we basically give our thoughts, opinions, and uh, just whatever comes to our brain about different topics, random videos, music, uh, top, whatever from the internet. Um, tonight, we got a special uh, episode. Um, we're going to get off into a listening party of sorts. Um, we're going to kind of give our live reaction to the new Yeezy album. Um and we got our normal, you know, set of videos and topics from the internet where we done pulled, and uh, we're going to get into those if time allows as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome to all my people on the replay gang, uh, if this is your first time, or my people who are live, if this is your first time, go ahead and hit that like button, wipe your feet as you come on in. And as always, um, think about subscribing if anything resonates with you tonight. Share it with somebody else, and please, please feel free to participate in the chat and or panel. Um, this is a live show. This is all about audience participation. So we're going to be kicking it with y'all and, uh, getting into the shit. But, um, first of all, let me introduce ourselves. Uh, as always, I am one third of the partners. It's your boy, Tiz. And as always, I am along with. The other third of the partners, the Padawan here. And I'm along with Traumatic Pause. What it is, man. It's space in the place, man. I don't know where I'm in the race. Man, man you winning the race, baby. You winning the race, my guy. Uh, man, but how y'all doing this week, man? What's good with everybody? Uh, How's yeah, everybody yeah, feeling I'm tonight? Oh, I'm doing good. Artrexover.com. Artrexover.com. <laughs> well, we can uh, flip the order. Um, my dang dad. If y'all didn't know. Face, tell them about it. Get my tell them about it. Man. Damn, man. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do that every time. Every time I'm on anything, I'm doing my damn dash. You gotta promote. You gotta promote, man. Artrexlogan.com, man. Artrexlogan.com. That's A R T R E Logan.com. Check us out, man. Indeed, man. Um, so all of my people who uh used to know about the partners closet and or face and co, um, they have basically been merged, revamped, re renovated, renewed. Um it's a whole new brand, um, new conglomerate that faces created code. So rtreclothing.com. Rtreclothing.com. Say it one more time, face. Rtreclothing.com. Indeed, indeed. Um, so yeah. So we got that popping off. Um also we got the fantasy football um vlog coming up next week. Um draft day is next Sunday. Um, so I'm going to be taking y'all with me through this season, um, allowing the pod squad members to help me make my weekly picks, um, my draft picks, my weekly uh, setups. Um, yeah, man, and uh, all my fantasy football fans, uh, you know, come on in, compare your team to mine. Let's argue about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have fun. Um, so that starts next week. Um, and, yeah, uh, we do. I do want to 
kind of just address something uh, from our podcast this week. Um, we were talking about uh, the polite situation and doing that. Um, the information that we had at the time basically was saying, um, going along with Polite's uh, story, basically saying that uh, he had gotten permission to take the girl from her mother to, you know, another location. And uh, basically more information has come out that says that that is not um, true. So I definitely want to apologize to the mother um, for that misstep. Uh, we got to get our research straight on that next time. Uh, we got a person that we're going to run it by um, the next time we do a story like that, just to make sure that we're not offending nobody uh, unnecessarily. But uh, apologies to the mother. Uh, we definitely have cut that part out of our um, videos and audio for the week. Um, so our bad, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes you, you run with the information that you got at hand, but when we wrong, we wrong. So definitely apologies to the mother on that one. And uh, the partners all saw that. So going forward, we would definitely uh, do better on that type of thing. Welcome to the partners with Face, Pat, and Tiz. I like that. I <laughs> you did i like did. that song i do i like that one yo of course you do i can't deny it like, i like it that's your you heart like the baby <laughs> and you like jay-z you like the baby and you like jay-z of course you liked it oh man <laughs> yo they are man i'm dumping so much pudding on this damn album mm. This y'all have well, we tried, man. Time. Kanye right, has since Kanye since the life of Pablo has been making rock music for people to coke and expensive <laughs> what? Okay, uh, Kanye has been making gospel music for people to do coke at parties for the longest time now. So y'all just got to get with it. And now, now I mean, he might have he might have got away with the whole party part of it, but it is already infused in the music that he's used to. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Gotham if I count it right, like if I count it right, like twenty seven to twenty nine. Uh, twenty seven tracks. It, it, it's it's a lot, uh, but we knew what we should have expected as soon as the first track called the Don the Chat. <clears throat> Went Donda, 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 Donda. <laughs> see, see, I can still kind of enjoy this. Oh, I, God. This, this is my take, and, and people ain't going to agree with it. I guess I like little electro, I like sounds, electro music like that, but I could probably still rock with it. But the main reason why I can rock with it is because I wasn't expecting a lot from him anyway. So I when I listened that. to it, I was like, when I listened to it, I was like, all right, this compared to Jesus and yeah. the Ye album and, and them couple of other ones, I was like, all right, maybe he, he, he's not doing the whiplash beats. It's not, it's not, he's nah, not doing that the was, whiplash beats. That, that was, was tough early. right there. Um, Face, a resident Kanye fan. How do you feel after uh, listening to the the few tracks that we did listen to? Uh, Kanye, what? God dang, I might, and I might be missing some hot fire <laughs> on them other 15, 17 tracks that we did listen to, but. That's what the Kanye fan has Good made. tracks on there. Um, uh, a couple good tracks. Uh, by a couple, I mean like uh, a, a true couple, like two. Um, <laughs> I see the artistic view, of what he's trying to go for, that, that high-end artistic shit um, with a lot of new, new shit he's trying. I, I definitely see it. Um, maybe he's ahead of his time on, on this one. I don't know, but um, I'm not feeling the album as a collective for what I've heard so far. Um, it could be one of those albums you got to hear in a certain setting because it, it, there yeah, are some albums I hear in the car. I can hear the full acoustic vol, um, volume to it that 
if I hear it just on my headphones, I'm not gonna vibe too. But and then it's certain hours that I can just put on the headphones and I'm gonna vibe to on, on that level that I don't vibe to and, and listen to the car. But that's just me as a, a music lover on, on how I how I vibe with music. But as a collective on what I've heard so far, I wouldn't recommend it. But that's just my opinion. Um the the junior shit, I fuck with it from the snippet we heard. Um, the gun shit having that first that just offsets the album to me it just gives you a bad taste in your mouth so you go into it expecting a bunch of bullshit from the all from from the jump um, i think that was a mistake but once again we talk about kanye so um you can't expect but so much out of that oh, yeah, and i don't know what he's trying to do I, I don't know what he's trying to do but i know what he's trying to do no it's just for me to try to <laughs> Take me Kanye pulled get out of it, but on the to me, uh, uh, nah, it's not where it should be. But like I said, it could be one of them situational albums and one of them, or one of those, like I say, environmental albums where it depends on your environment, you might vibe to it. Like it, it, it's some music you'll listen to in a club and vibe to in that environment that you just won't listen to in the car because it's not the right place or setting for you. Feel me? Like you wouldn't listen to Little John all day, but you listen to Little John in a club. So I don't know. Saying. Um, I definitely think um I definitely don't know what the hell he was going for. Like I don't know. It didn't seem to have no real like it was like he one minute he's high end, one minute he's completely commercial, one minute he's like, I don't know what, one minute he's going back to the gospel thing. It was just like a lot of different directions, so it was very confusing. Um I will say this though. <laughs> As a dude who likes silly shit, that guess who's going with the jet? That's gonna be it. That's gonna be what it was. That like, whether I want to or not, I'm a love that song. Like, it's it's just like get a toast to the douchebags. Like, I like stupid mm-hmm. shit like that. I do. I I know it's dumb, but I'm gonna ride with that shit. Like, I'm gonna be riding in that in the car tomorrow. That soup's going with the jail to die on the way to work. Like, I know I am. So. Overall, the shit is garbageio, but that that one song with the two versions, uh, he at least did his job and got a single out of it. I think I think because he made the album for like a stadium feel, and that whole um, I want to rock out feel or whatever, it's like you got to be in that mode to listen to that. Like, yes, it's very stadium listen. music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to be in a vibe to want to do that, like. Like that's not one of those. You got to be in the v- same vibe as I'm not gonna take it. That type of vibe. Like, you can't be in that. <laughs> you got to be in that. We will, we will I'm you. not you gotta gonna that. take it. You got to be in that vibe. You got to be, you know, you either you got to be a rich yuppie with a condo in Soho oh, sniffing man. coke, and and to like this like it's one of those it's like it's a it's a certain vibe to it like like you can't be in the vibe to be hyped for the club and listen to this or whatever you know what i'm saying That's like right. it's it's not one of those it's, it's one of them all right i want to listen to something completely different today and vibe out type thing i can respect it yeah it's definitely giving me that vibe um because i that that again that jail song i can see me in the the middle of a damn uh, (laughs) no i can see me in the middle of like a concert though like yes like yeah i I can see yes or or like this like this 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 is how the this is the main people that guess who's going to jail tonight that's the type Pop, pop. Snip the, line. the way you fucking popped up, nigga, don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type. Hell no, bro. Why did you look like that? All over <laughs> you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's exactly that's exactly how it is. With that one. Oh god, the way mean. you look. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Because, because my 
because of Kanye's antics before, <laughs> I had a low expectation for the album anyway. So when I listened to That's it real. and I listened to the production of it or whatever, it actually turned out a lot better than what it was. Like, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm like everybody in the chat before before I actually listened to it. But when I listened to it, I get you know, what you're saying. I nowadays I like how to say Nowadays, I, when I listen to music, because mm -hmm. I'm a straight hip hop head, mm -hmm. majority of the time or whatever, like so I can actually enjoy music now instead of just being the grumpy hip hop head or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just when I listen to artists, I just fall into their world. I don't I don't try to get them to be in my world because if you get try to get Kanye into my world, I'm gonna think right. that shit trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not That's enough real. bars for me to like it. It's not enough bars for me to like it. I got Jay Z. Yeah. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I gotta actually fall into that world for me to in, enjoy it. Now, if I go into that world, like if I'm listening to dubstep or some shit like that, I'm, I'm not gonna and and I don't like it, and I'm gonna jump the fuck right back out or whatever. But that's, that's this real. is one of those things. But yeah, yeah. If you really want to enjoy it, <laughs> I, I I don't condone that. Um, no, I don't condone that, don't, that yo, you activity wild. at all. But that's the vibe that I get from it. Like I, you I, wild I feel like as hell I, for that. I I feel like that's the soundtrack to our eyes wide shut uh, Illuminati party. It's a soundtrack to something. It's it's, it's a bunch of. A bunch of people in suits with Kids masks going do listening to this. Yeah. Don't do drugs. No. Um, <laughs> well, off to our normal fuckery. Uh, we got some vids, yeah. some uh, topics, some uh, random shit. Um, so let's get off into it, man. The first video know. of the night is called "I Quit Mode." I, I quit mode. Um, I'm about quit. I'm about quit. I'm about quit Kanye after <laughs> that damn Donda. Yes, I don't about quick Kanye yeah, after that. that was disrespectful to mama. He, he could have did it like good. that. Yeah. That you was garbage. I quit him. But that, guess who's him going to jail? Jesus. I'm going to ride that shit out the rest of uh, 2021. Like, we're we going to ride that song out. That, that would be my shit. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Yeah, I think Remote Control was good, too. I think that song, Remote Control, was good, too. I ain't checked that one out. If we did go it, to, go, to, go to that on your, on your leisure. On your leisure. Anyways, man, you don't got to sniff coke. I, I do that shit I don't on my, think you gotta my podcast time when I got to do it for work, but I can't do it just on my leisure. I don't think you got to sniff coke for that song. <laughs> I'm not sniffing coke for is any it? song, sir. <laughs> is, is, is the first vids, uh, are, the, are, the, are the first vids uh, face, face vids? I don't know. Are they face vids? Yeah, they're face oh, vids. Oh, all right, so um, they hit the disclaimer. <laughs> if y'all don't know, All right, y'all. Um, let's get off into this, man. This is called I Quit Mode. So, whatever mode that is. Looking at the floor, so I don't already don't trust it. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all that it's tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all tomorrow. Come on, street me all right. Come on. Stream yard. Oh, I think my tis might have froze. Okay. Yeah, oh, right. tis might have I think tis froze. Yeah, well, he froze. Because, <laughs> hey. God, it was me. I don't think. Well, it ain't me. Okay. Y'all good? 
Yeah, we back. <laughs> yeah, we good. <laughs> you thought you froze. No, I don't know what's happening, man. You know, stream y'all do what they want to do. But uh yeah, um do y'all know what I'm talking about? Did y'all hear anything I said? Uh-uh. No, we you stopped at. That's what you stopped at. Okay. <laughs> That's all we saw. Uh do y'all remember that uh it was like a meme or a gif or like something. It was like a viral video or whatever. It was like a clip from one of them bad girl shows or one of them shows where they had like the ladies in the house and they like got bad attitudes or whatever. And they be beefing. You know what I'm talking about? Like the reality shows. And it was yeah. like a big girl and she was like, I ain't yeah, get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all ain't gonna get no sleep because of me. And she was like banging mm-hmm. pots and pans with people. Like, okay. I remember That's that. That's what this reminds mm-hmm. me of. That's like bull in China shop. Like fuck everybody. <laughs> What in the hell? <laughs> what else, girl? Oh, you know oh I'm gonna look that shit up before we leave off tonight. That's gonna be the random video of the night. We going off this what? off tonight to that. Oh. I've been delivered. <laughs> Can't I don't see how she can see mad, me. Man. eyelashes. <laughs> Now, this is what got me. Co-worker sitting back laughing and recording and everything. But they forget when she done quit and then she gone and security that escorted her ass out, they going to be the ones still got to clean that shit up. Like when she's saying pick yeah, it up, yeah. that's exactly what they going to have to do. Man, y'all better start grabbing some of them boxes out of her hand. Stop letting her dump that shit out. <laughs> that's going to be your overtime. <laughs> God dang. She... <laughs> yeah, because if I had to close that night, that bitch had to go. She trashed her, that whole place, bro. She what know how, is I'll this? Make ass, I'll make her ass blink real rapidly and have her ass fly away with them big ass eyelashes she got. <laughs> got down. Bitch got butterflies in her eyes and shit. You just give me butterflies. Got moths in her eyes. How can Yo, she even I, see? She got that goddamn what? They are really, they are really thick, cat aren't whiskers. they? What? Look like goddamn Katana, <laughs> um, like yeah. Katana from Mortal Kombat fans on her eyes and shit. Where do they work? Right, right. That There you go. I don't know. It starts off like, like she's going in in quick mode at the beginning. Like, look. <laughs> it's already started when we get to it. I'm going to show y'all that this right tomorrow. Right. She didn't have this started on him. Oh, look at your friend. It might be. Oh, you talking about me? Uh, it is actually look, a lot. Look at your friend. You call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm cool with it. What else, what else girl? But oh yeah, she God. got on. No, that's a hair. That's hair. Hold on. What else? <laughs> that, that might not be a lock. What is that? What, her hair? That's her hair yeah. and a, with a uh, wrap in front of it. Look at your friend. It's a headband around it. <laughs> Peace, yeah. Dr. Queen. What else, <laughs> what else girl? Queen. When the lace front ain't, ain't, ain't um, when they okay, still gotta yeah, go to work after like they a, got their uh, hair done, like they still gotta wrap that shit up. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> mm hmm. It's definitely a lot going on there, man. Um, God Put all that him. money in that hair. That ain't this. I hope she got another job that's going to pay her enough to keep this up because that looks like a lot of money spent. I'm not going to even front. So she, so whatever this job is that they work at, she, she's not doing horrible that she can afford that. But my thing is, how you going to pay for it now that you done told this place up and they about to come uh, get you up out of there? They about to send the people in the white coats come grab you. She got one more month of OnlyFans. She good. <laughs> One more. October first, y'all. That's how we start the night, folks. That from dawn to tradition, Jesus wept. <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> Jesus Her did eyebrows. weep on that damn dawn to uh. Who? D- Doctor Queen. Girl, it eyebrows was, it was, look it like was this. rough. It was rough. This is a girl eyebrows. Her <laughs> eyebrows look like this. That's what her eyebrows look like. 
<laughs> like a giraffe. Her, I mean, her eyelashes. Eyelashes look like. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say her eyebrows is that thick, bro. Caterpillars. No, I'm talking about her eyebrows. <laughs> you know, back in the high school, I did. It was one girl that had eyebrows that thick. Like she had like this real thick eyebrows. It was like really, really like, like this. <laughs> like a. They got one right to the side. Yo, this nigga got his fucking <laughs> face. Can you see this shit? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Flappity uh, flap. From quitting the job uh, and somebody Flippity going to jail flap. tonight to another uh, video that's now called did his job so we're not quitting we did our job correctly now um i don't know what this means but um once i get this advertisement up out of here for dixie ultra disposable plates if y'all want some real strong ass paper plates um <laughs> you know i'll add dixie so you know shout out to them <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hey hey where else are we? Dixie. They always got a dumb ad on there, like, I don't want to talk about paper plates. Sir, I want to know who did their job. So uh, <laughs> this is called did his job. Were Let's see what happened. Very afraid. Were you, are you afraid now? I am. Yes. Hold on. Is that the dude that was running through the, uh, that they had running through the halls? I think so. That was, like, trying to hold back, like, the whole mob with, like, a stick? they understand. It might have, mm -hmm. yeah. And there was imminent threats. And that's the dude with the pistol. Are y'all here? Minutes before Lieutenant Michael yeah. Brown yeah. and yeah. killed rioter Ashley Babbitt. Oh, a cascade of alarming messages crackled through his police radio. He yells for <laughs> help. And, uh, you know, officer down and screaming as they're being assaulted. This video from inside the House chamber captures Byrd instructing members of Congress to don gas masks. Then instructions to prepare for the worst. I'd ask them to remove their pens, to remove their jackets, you know, uh, to look like staff as much as possible um, and to uh, mm -hmm. seek shelter by staying down below their chairs. <laughs> Man, they better honor this dude as a national hero. Like, look at that oh, hat. Shit, I'm dropping shit. But that's that, that hat right there. Says it all. That hat right says it right there. From Justice Smollett to the insurrection. That hat has been behind more bullshit. More bullshit. Juicy Smollett. Right here. <laughs> Juicy Smollett. And even until <laughs> even in this presidency, Afghanistan. Nah, for real though. Nah, for real though. It's still wrong. Af fucking Afghanistan. But you know what the next thing about to be instead of them has is about to be Mike the pillow, the my pillow guy, or whoever it is. That's the new uh conservative guy that everybody rolling with. My the dude pillow? that made my pillow. Yeah, that pillow, that pillow. Like supposed to cool your head off or something. I don't know. You want them pillows that be on them infomercials, them uh, late at night, you know, no COD, the blue screen type of commercials. They always get Who's money that show their ass. Yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, that's about to be the new thing. So, same same rhetoric, just uh, instead of making his money off real estate and books, and he made his money off a pillow. This is where we at in 2021. Oh, that soon, that best hacking uh, saver stormed up the stairs to the house chamber. There's a gun! Hey, he's got a gun! He's got a gun! Bird he's is seen a gun. taking a defensive posture with his gun Most drawn. Oh, he the one that, uh, oh, he the one that, that, uh, oh, that hit that lady. Yeah. That was trying to bust through the window. Yeah. Got it. God, as I was, please stop. Get back. Get back. Stop. We see your arm. Most out people, there when they see a gun, a they go the time. opposite direction. Are you wavering? Usually, uh, or at least I stop was, their progress. Again, dumbass. Taking a tactical stance, you're ultimately hoping that 
your commands will be complied with. And unfortunately, they were not. What did you think this individual was doing at that at that moment? She was posing a threat to the United States Indeed. House of Representatives. They would have been taken but out on the lawn. attorney for Ashley Babbitt's family on disputes the lawn. that. He did not respond to our request for a comment, but in a previous statement said Babbitt was not brandishing a weapon, not in close proximity to members of Congress, and was not an imminent threat of death or serious injury to anyone. Based on your so training, the hell she in that dead. case, does it matter <laughs> that the person was armed or not? According to law, it does not. Positive. Positive. Oh, it stopped um, anyway. That was it. Uh, that lawyer Wait. statement doesn't mean that lawyer statement doesn't mean shit. Cause all those people there, they were there to be an imminent threat to the congressman. So why the fuck were you there? If you want to threaten anybody, you thought those fools was going to protect you. Evidently they didn't. You know why? Cause your ass got shot when you saw a gun and you should have broke. broke through a barricade. She she like passive aggressive lady. Broke through the barricade and the bullet came next. A big one. She she like passive aggressive lady. When the lady said uh, to the dude that was robbing, well, you know, that gun doesn't look real. And then, you right. know, he kind of smacked me across the head. Well, instead, <laughs> um, instead, of, the, the, the dude just shot. He, he didn't hit you inside the head. He just shot. My thing is this. If an officer of the law <laughs> has a gun pointed at you. I don't care what color you at. And they tell your ass to stop. Better stop. Stop. Yeah. They not they don't have to warn you again. The law is gonna be on their side. They work for the system that you're gonna <laughs> that your case is gonna be tried in regardless. So like just stop. It ain't worth it. Fight your case in court, but like live to see another day. I don't care if you're a crazy renegade insurrectionist or uh Black person just out trying to, you know, have a good time with their family. Like, yeah. I hate to say it, but the person at the at, at the trigger side of the gun got the power in them situations. I, it, it's as simple as that. I, I have I have no sympathy for them fools. I have no sympathy. You went up there to take over a country. That means you went to war. That means that, and then then when your plan didn't work or whatever, now you're trying to comply and use the system that you were trying to fight for, to try to fight against and take over. You try to use that same system that you said you disagree with and and and, and get out of the the bullshit you created or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, big like, facts. It's like if it, if it was a bunch of um, Islamic folk that came up to the, you know, the spot or whatever, and then they said the police officer shot me. There would be no sympathy for them, at all. Not at all. Not at all. <clears throat> it's strictly because uh, you know I got the complexion for the connection, man. You know you get them type of uh, breaks and uh, con con yeah, yeah, obviously privilege. You know that's what it saying. is. That's what it is. And I'm sure her it. her family has some type of connection or some money involved in there. You know them greenbacks <laughs> move some mountains too, so. It is what it is, but uh, that officer definitely did his job. Um, at the end of the day, they are trained to protect those senators and those politicians at all costs. That's their job. That's what they're trained to do. They're legally allowed to do it. So if you are so dumb enough to run your ass up in there against the United States government who bombed countries, you don't think they will pluck you the hell off for trying to kill <laughs> Like, hey, complexion ain't bulletproof. I tell you that. It'll get you through some backdoor channels and stuff, but complexion is not a uh, bulletproof, huh, Claire? Not at all. That shit will get you clipped the fuck off thinking that shit. A bullet ain't got no protect. racism. A bullet just hit. Whatever it is. It's, <laughs> the skin the sensitive. Yeah. The skin sensitive to the. I sun. love that. How you doing? Think. <clears throat> To pay fiasco. That is classic. Damn, that's I love it. <laughs> to pay fiasco. That, that is the best fiasco. Trumpism I've like. heard. That is dope. I that, I don't know if you coined it or what, but that is good, Gator Girl. Like you need to <laughs> trademark that. Put that on a t-shirt. 
They were so their complexion they can't even they guard them. The from, exactly, they won't supposed to the be. Complexion in can't even can't even guard them from the sun. So how are you gonna guard it from a bullet? Man, when oh, I was man. growing up, the way my mom described it to me, you know what I mean? Um, oh, okay, well they clever as hell. Whoever did that. But the way it was described to me growing up, my mom walked when we used to walk past houses and you see that no trespassing stand, that little black and orange sign and people uh fence or you know what I mean on on their property. She told me, look, you see a sign like that anywhere. You step on their property. Whatever they do to you, they're allowed to do to you because you didn't convey the dead personal space. I look at it the same way with the government. You know what it is up there. They got people walking around with guns just chilling ready for you mm -hmm. leave them folk alone unless you going in there military style for real but don't be hopping up through no doors on all with your camping gear on and your maga hat thinking that shit about to stop some bullets that like that is not smart yeah i mean because it's it's clearly on camera like the daily show interviewed a good 30 on you know mm -hmm. what i mean so uh, you would think that they'd be a, but you know they slow to grab it. Like, had it been somebody they else, dumb you know, they would have been all snatched up by now. They would have expedited uh, the trials. They would have been ready to uh, deport somebody if they were not of this country. Like, yeah, you already know how that be. Indeed, Dr. Queen. Indeed. Indeed. Um, but yeah, man, so that was, he did his job and he damn sure did. Uh, salute to that officer for doing what you were supposed to do. And yeah, man, not, not, not backing down in, in the face of all of those people that were trying to do you harm. Cause that was an army of folk at that door. So I can definitely understand. Um, my, my car consumer people, if you are able to get mad or get scared and shoot one armed arm black man who's sitting there with his hands up and has complied with you. You can't be mad at this man who uh, had an angry mob trying to assault him and uh, people busting through a door. It is what it is. Yeah. So the next video is called Just Say No. Um, but yeah. Face. Huh. Face. Face. What the hell you got me about to play on here, man? What <clears throat> in the hell? <clears throat> Face. What is this shit? <laughs> it's called Just Say No, y'all. Uh, we done played the disclaimer. If you still here, then you know what type of fuckery this shit is about to get into. Uh, it's another face vid. Oh boy, just say no, y'all. I'll be right by your side when you come in. <laughs> oh, hat. That laugh. Oh, walked off from y'all. Y'all have some bitch out here, bro. Ooh, that Lily got your ass gone. That is not weed. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass uh, up. Just, you, you on the fucking ground. Get the fuck up. Who? You on the ground. Is she pee on herself? Oh, the ambulance. Ooh. Did she pee on herself? Is that a Ooh. pissing bottle? Got the ambulance over in the air thing. No, I, I think it's a shadow. It's a shadow. That's a dark ass shadow right there. Somebody pee. No, that, no, that is something wet. That now she looked wet. dry for yeah. some reason, but Jesus Christ, yo, what in the heck? Just say no. Man, face be wild. <laughs> yo, what the hell? <laughs> Where do you get that? Who on the ground? You, as you laying on the ground. <laughs> Yo, 
fixing her hair like she in the bed, bro. Like, yeah, you know what? Who, me? Not me. I know my mattress be hard, but this ain't the ground. No, man. You need one of them my pillows. Because that shit. Uh, But was that a piss puddle? I am very intrigued by that, how she was so dry, yet the ground around her looked very uh, hydrated, if you will. (laughs) (laughs) It was was a lot of of liquid there, but she dry as hell. Did the dude that was laying there before her pee on himself, and then she like rolled over to the side? Oh, oh so many I have so no little answers. Clue. So many. Yes, we. Yes, the craziest pudding. You right. <laughs> and it ain't us. It faith. That's faith. It's all faith. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now this <Yeah>. next video. <laughs> it's called the grass. Hold on. Let me see how many videos we got. Yeah, 23. Yeah, fellas, uh we go skip. Yeah. Uh-huh. We don't got uh-huh. Go. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go to this next one called Laughs. I don't know what this means. I think, hold on. What you say? Let me see what that said. Tyron, Tyron Woodley. Woodley. I got Woodley. Um he's an MMF M- MMA fighter, obviously, but I think he has enough striking ability to make it competitive, especially against a, a boxer who isn't as experienced um, as a lot of the people he's faced. I think if he remembers to stick to that boxing and like mm-hmm. really boxes mm-hmm. him, he got a shot. But if he start coming in and just kind of like forgetting and getting back into his MMA bag, he might leave itself susceptible because sometimes their stance is a little different than boxing. So like their hands are positioned different. So like hand positioning mean a lot with them gloves on. So uh, I hope that it goes Woodley, but Jake Paul, every time I keep betting against this fucker, man, he keep doing something good. And I I don't know what else to say, but Um, if Tyron don't play with him like Mayweather did, and he just going there like, no, nah, I'm about to knock his block off. It should be a short, short match. What say yees, fellas? No uh, face, I saw that face off. That last face off. And uh Yeah, didn't they catch get into like it or some uh, shit? Yeah. <clears throat> like he um like Tyrone Willie, he really got into him, like or oh, oh, whatever. And all what is it? Jake Paul, all Jake Paul oh. was doing was just saying Mal gay shit on a low or whatever mm-hmm. to try to throw him off or whatever but he looked real scared I'm, I feel you now, I, I say in, in, my, in my Max V voice I say, I say better believe that black power black power black power but yeah I'm, I'm definitely uh Woodley should get it, man. Woodley should yeah. definitely get it, man. Uh, Hopefully. So, yeah, we're going to see what happens, man. But let's see. Uh, this next video is called Laughs. I don't know what that means. Um, so we're going to apparently be laughing. I like to laugh. Y'all like to laugh? So let her laugh at whatever this laugh is. If I can get this tuna melt the hell up off the screen. I'm so sick of ads. I, I need an ad blocker. Somebody got to put me on. <laughs> Somebody got to put me onto an ad blocker, man. Because that shit is annoying. Did you ever have a beach haircut? You, know? I don't, you do. What are you kidding me? No, dude, that a is beach haircut. What is he calling it? A beach haircut? What did he say? He said, I don't know. I thought you he said beef. I don't, you oh. do. Did you ever have a beef haircut, Tebow? A beef? You do? You know, like leave it to be? No, dude. That is beef haircut goes is, over here somewhere. No, that's beefs for days. It you is. know he's going to change it every oh, two weeks. Oh, beefs? That's hard. Just a haircut's like, uh, you use more product than him, though. Hey, when you I use Martin, more product than anybody. When you and Tim go get your hair done, how you, what y'all tell him? Like to the left or the right? No, I tell him go. <laughs> I tell him go number two all the way up to a fade and just give me a faux hawk, man. <laughs> 
Paul, bro. I'm number two. Hey, yeah, Paul, bro. Paul, what do you tell him? I mean, I'm just a little off the side. Lead us on. Lead us on. I always tell him, I should leave a little bit on the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tebow, uh, he kind of deserved that. Uh, he, he did not need to be a tight end. God bless him. Uh, I know he, re- you know, I'm, I'm glad he never, he didn't try to come back to the Broncos, Lord Jesus. But uh, that tight end will never work for him. That... <laughs> Ooh, he, I, I, I'm had to run that one back because I missed some of the joke or something because I. I know they had corny haircuts, but other than that, I did not understand what was happening. And who was Finn and Bomb? Is that the one with the rooster? With the rooster? With the faux hawk? As he said, the number two with the fade. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> that is the beast haircut for, that goes that over here. So no, Remy. For days. You know Old he's going to change it every two weeks. That's hardcore. My haircut's like uh, you use more product than him, though. Oh, hey, when you I use more product than anybody. When you and Tim go get your hair done, how you, what y'all tell him? Like to the left or the right? No, I tell him go. I tell him go number two all the way up to a fade and just give me a faux hawk, man. It's a faux hawk, bro. I'm number two. Hey, yeah, Paul, what, Paul. What do you tell him? I mean, I'm just <laughs> uh, hey, now hey. hold up. How the hell? How the hell? What the hell? Hell, yeah, he gonna laugh, and he got less hell than than my man Finny Ball. <clears throat> That's horrible. Because <laughs> he's a black man. Yeah. He's just a little... <laughs> black ain't man nobody try, joke. Ain't nobody try to throw no ain't jokes over there, yo. <laughs> you ain't gonna joke. You know he would have shut all that shit. Black man, man. You also ain't gonna fuck with the lineman when you do when you a table full of skill players like this. His ass flipped that table over and grabbed one of y'all. This is a wrap. <laughs> you see how he put his hand on Tebow's shoulder? Tebow was like, all right, man, come on, man. Go ahead, get your hand off me, man. That's just not hurt, player. Go ahead, man. You got You're scared, it. You got man. it. Go ahead, man. All right. I'm so scared. I ain't laughing at you. I ain't laughing at you. I'm laughing at Teddy Bob. I mean, Finny Bob. Find a ball. I got this. I got this part to hang. <laughs> Peace, King. <laughs> Peace, part. King. What's good, Defraud? How you, man? He got, a, he got a part on the side of his mohawk. <laughs> Tebow. White, white, white people problems. I, I don't even understand them haircuts, so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, the number two. I don't know what a number two is. I ain't asked for a number for a haircut since I was maybe two years, three years old. When you get your, get your first haircut and your parent get your haircut for you. Like, this is then. It's been a name to my haircut. Like, you know, high top fade, temp fade, ball fade, Caesar, you know, something. But yeah, he's I'm, been long time for for one had haircut. Yes, long time. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty much lineups for you. But even then, it ain't no number, uh, no number to it. It's just you know, let me get a lineup. <laughs> Fuck, shit, I would never understand because I ain't got hair like that. My my hair don't do those. My hair don't do no. They number got the two. pictures to the side and stuff. Fuck, man, give me a number two. My hairline be way back here. I mean, yes, sir. Hell no. Uh, this next uh, video is called Thank Run, you. Bro. King, sir. Run. And I think we still in the... Uh... Base. Yes. Is that what he's talking about? The number two? I thought he was talking about all one of them uh, charts they have at like, you know, what is it? Uh... <laughs> Super cuts. Whatever they, whatever they give it. Nah, be, that's what he's talking about. When they get them haircuts with them floaties, you know they be using them vacuums, <laughs> whatever them shits, them floaties. Yeah, floaties. I had one. Of those, <laughs> I had one of those. Um, all the military barber shops <laughs> got the little vacuum attached to the uh the cutter, the right. And I, shit. I don't even ask for no number on the clippers though. Like I'd be like, you know, hey man, I wanted low or you know wavelength or I wanted this, you know, like I don't know. But you don't put me you up need, on some doc. That's the guard on the clippers. No. So he asking for the guard on the clippers. I do know that they are numbered, so that do make sense. Okay. Me no now. have those problems. Me no have those problems. Right. I ain't trying to get no number seven super size, man. I need my hairline normal. Give me a <laughs> Yeah. That's different. Yeah. You know, again, man, that. I may be t- I may be too dark to have those conversations at my barbershop. 
This next video is called Run Bro Run. Again, we are still in the face. Yeah, we still in the face round. And he's still laughing. He's still got that evil laugh in the background. <laughs> oh, the face uh, that, the face tears just made. All right, so this what I'm <laughs> this what I'm gonna say. I, I don't I, the video just started. I, I'm gonna run it back so I can play for y'all, but I'm gonna tell y'all if you are, you know, all my sector people, if you're watching this on replay my lives, people that have been in the sector, this is gonna look eerily, scarily familiar, and that's not in a good way. So prepare yourself. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> we gotta start helping our people oh, when they're doing stuff hurt. like this. Yeah. Oh, no. mm -hmm. <laughs> she on drugs? Yeah. Oh, she drunk? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> No more because I'm not me. Are you being weird? Are you being weird to me? You want to be real? You have weird. The, the thick ass eyebrows, man. The fact that she's not saying that ironically, like she really mean why you being weird. The fact that she's asking somebody else why they being weird in this moment. Tell why you how her far hair gone going super she saying. Is. Her hair is going <laughs> super saiyan. <laughs> Eyebrows too. Some things. Come here, I'm here. You know, friend. It looks like, look like she getting blasted by Camille Mia. Come here. Her shit flying back. <laughs> Who is she with? Who is she with? You just said I was fucking me. He was fucking me. He wants to be weird. Now you want to be weird. You want to be weird. <laughs> Of course we that be a weird vibe we're talking to you. Of course. This is so crazy. Man. This reminds me roll, of fucking... Um, roll up a blunt. <clears throat> roll up a blunt. Yeah, this yeah. remind me of Tyrese. What more do you want from me? Like, what in the hell, yo? Money, probably. <laughs> Money, <laughs> probably. Bite a face off. Yep. Bath salts. All of that. That is not weed. I tell you that. No. <laughs> now, there could be some real bad alcohol, maybe. Like, you know, maybe that's what they got into and, you know, and... Could be that K2 spice shit. But something else other than just uh love and happiness was happening right there. And um abandonment issues. That's yeah. Black people. Abandon. This is what I'ma say. Since it was only C B D hot. <laughs> Yo, if it if that's only C B D, my God. No, I don't think so. I'm going to tell you, man, uh, anything that you don't know exactly what it is, I'm going to say it ain't safe. I don't know what the hell that K2 shit is, but it's like chemicals. Chemicals ain't weed. Thing, chemicals but... ain't weed. That shit like incense. They're like smoking incense. They got letters and numbers as the name. Real talk. Unless it's weed. And, and uh, you know, me and Face, we definitely got a, a, a homeboy that uh was into that kind of heavy and i've seen the effects it ain't cool uh yeah i don't yeah no nah, defrauding it ain't it ain't mm -hmm. don't do drugs people don't do no drugs. no no Not at all. right well this next uh topic <clears throat> it's called hidden family peace queen what's good andrew how are you p hola um, this next one is called Hidden Family. Um, so let's give some advice, guys. Let's help somebody out this week. This comes to us from Six Brown Chicks uh, on Twitter. Oh, boy. Uh, 
their weekly uh, question section. Mm -hmm. So let's give some advice, guys. We've been married for three years, and we have a two-month-old. My husband hides us. He hides the car seat in the trunk when he goes to work. He has secret social media accounts. His family doesn't know we eloped. He drove my fam away. Him. I'm all you need. Advice. Did Thanks, you man. not see these crazy red flags in the beginning? That's a form of isolation and a form of abuse. He's setting you up. Um, get away while you can. Yeah, that sounds yeah, like the next thing that's going to happen is he's going to start beating on you, man. That, that don't sound all right. Oh, yeah, shit, Peace Queen. Secret. What's good? The sexy toy lady. But yeah, yeah, that sounds like the beginning of one of them lifetime movies where the woman gets severely abused and then she has to like fight her way out of the house. Like, that is not a good sign. Uh, you know. He didn't hear you, first of all. So that means people don't really know that you're out there. Like, like you don't have a support system exactly. of people that's like, if you come up missing, it ain't like people are used to seeing you on a regular. So that's scary in itself, you feel me? Um, right. I, uh, I'm like, does he have another family? Like, is he married too? Like, is he like a bigger miss? Because that's against the law. What, but something is weird. Like, job he is. Man, what, I, what type of job? That's what I want to know. Like, it got to be something, something crucial, something important. Like, if that nigga got a regular job. If he wear, if he works at a warehouse, and shit, or whatever. There, there's no reason for him to hide you. <laughs> pretty much. I'm looking at it like you hide in your. How do you hide a wife and a and kids? Like you've been married for three years. I feel you. Like from everybody. From your whole, from your whole family, like that means, so your family ain't been to your house in three years. You ain't had like yeah. an auntie pull up, a, a uncle. Oh, that's the question. Like, a, like you ain't had like a cousin come over to watch the game with you. Nothing. Like, you, you mean to tell me, what you throw them in the basement every time? Okay. Yes. It puts the lotion on its skin. That's the, that's that type of shit. Like <laughs> you feel me? That's that type of silence of the lamb shit. Like that creepy put you in the black room type shit. You feel me? Like that what, is what type of job? You the in you the always job. inside chick is what you are. Like how do you get hidden away for three years? What are you some what type ma magical valley that only appears when the moon aligns with a certain comet? It, that what the, the only way this, the only way this works is if he got some type, he got a job with a lot of money for doing it. You hiding somebody away for three years? Yo, three years, that's, bro. That's the only. You've been way hidden away sense. for three years. Like nobody, not nobody in your family. You ain't had nobody come to the crib and see like a wedding picture. That's crazy. He drove them all away. Yo, it's something which should be the first red flag. I feel like he's setting her up to sex traffic her or something because, like, why? Like, wh what? Why you gotta hide her for three years? Are you trying to set it up so, like, if you do something to her, and then nobody knows about her because she's been hidden away already for three years, so they already thought she was missing. Like that. Mm -hmm. Like that's some why. What? I'm gonna be wrong for this. I'm gonna be so wrong. <laughs> 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 Last call, I have a hot you take. a fucking jackass. <laughs> you are stupid as hell, bro. What did what did he say? What did he say? Because I he want said, to know if he's on the same he page. Said, he said, I'm chained <laughs> in the basement <laughs> and he pees on me. <laughs> Yo, that is horrible. That is horrible. What are holidays I, like? I, like what you so you do so you go to so you've been going to Christmas dinner every year. And you ain't never been you ain't never been taken to the Christmas dinner. This dude just bring y'all back a back a plate every year. Like that is crazy, bro. I got a hot No, it does that. count if it's out of country. I got married in Jamaica and my shit legally binding. So I think it depends on where you are out of the country and how it was done out of the country. And if you actually sign a marriage license. But I, I'm pretty sure I they still count it. 
They've been giving me all these tax breaks. And people are not going to like me for it. Uh Uh-oh, what happened? I I, I love you, bro. It's all good, man. Speak your truth. A a lot of times when we look at this, we always look at it at the side of the person telling the story. So I would like to look at it from a different angle. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, for comedic reasons, I'm going to say this, maybe she's ugly. Peace, queen. Oh, shit. (laughs) <laughs> Peace, Queen, Miss Via. <laughs> you going to sleep right at the right time, I think. <laughs> she about to get rid of she, she might be what? ugly. What? I mean, she might. She, she, so she her being ugly, ugly means that he should have married her? Like, why marry her then? Like, you've been married for three years. Your baby's only two months old. That means it ain't like you have been, she was pregnant and then you got married because she was pregnant. So you were trying to do the right thing or something weird like that. Like, you've been with this woman for three years. If she that ugly and you and you still been having sex with her as, as at least as of a year and some change ago, you're right. What? Okay. What? So so what do it let, matter? Let, so you better let, bring let, that let, ugly let, girl let, out to the cook picnic and take them down pictures with her. You better flaunt your maybe, ugly boot. Shit. Maybe she's somebody he's not. Run, man, run. Period. Like, like. Like somebody he close to knows her, and that was his, you know, his his uh, girl or something. That's the only other reason why I would think you would marry her, other than him being a psycho. That I'm telling you, man, it's some last house on the left shit going on here to me. Like, drove his whole drove her, so he knew her family, because he was able to drive them away from her. But nobody in his family knows that they got married. He got secret social media accounts and he has the car seat in the trunk. He go to work. It's somebody at that job that he is fucking with. That's the real boo. Even mm-hmm. though y'all married, he getting the tax breaks for two, but he it's something. Mm-hmm. It's something. It's some renegade shit going on there. But man, my, my first instinct renegade. on that one is to run. Run, and then run some more, cause uh, some ain't right. Take the pillars, take the baby away. with you. Move a couple of states away. Take, take the baby with you. Yes, get that baby out of there, cause some, if he do it, if he, yeah, yeah, it's some creepy shit going on there. And as soon as these damn little ass burgers from Crystal get up off my screen, then uh, we'll get into the next video, uh. But the next video is called Get That Old Ass. Hold on. Let me make sure I say it right. What is it? If you don't get that old ass cake out of here. <laughs> that's just so-, so that's what's coming up next. Mm-hmm. If you don't get that old ass cake <laughs> out of here. Um, but yeah, they could. Maybe that. Mm-hmm. And she mm-hmm. don't know. Maybe like he got married. Maybe he was already with his protection. There. Okay. Now that's an angle that I hadn't even thought of. So that 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 makes sense. He in the mob, he right? The like mob if you like a, a a person, yeah, and, and you meet her while you own that, so you can't bring her around everybody because it might put the, her in danger. So okay, and the people in her family is the people that he owe money to, owe money and drugs to. So he had to hide into protective custody and shit to hide away from the family or whatever. What this nigga Chapo? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got that kind of pull. Cool. This this the husband of somebody writing in the six brown chicks. This nigga ain't got that kind of pull. <laughs> but uh this next video is called You don't get that old ass cake out of here. Uh oh shit. That would be horrible for him. But it's gonna go down. Oh. Something's, gonna, something's gonna go down. Run, gonna be right. run. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, get out. That's the moral of that story. Get out. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. But uh, yeah, get this old ass cake out of here. Hey then, what does that say right there? You gotta look up top. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> Why was that cake? Why his head bounced off the cake? Your head not supposed to bounce on the cake. It's supposed to go through the cake. Ah. <laughs> oh, that shit barely put a dent in the damn cake, bro. It barely oh, dented the cake, bro. Oh yes, old oh, ass fucking cake. What kind of cake is this? You gotta look up top. <laughs> <laughs> they, they bought that cake. Gave this baby a damn concussion because you too cheap oh, to buy a, a, a fresh later. cake. They bought that cake, cake last year, his last birthday. <laughs> yeah, that leftover cake from last year. Save it. He gonna he gonna have another birthday, y'all. Say that. <laughs> Say that. He, he guaranteed to have another one. Watch, watch. I guarantee it. We only need to add one more candle. That that <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Doc. That is exactly what that is. Child abuse. Like, he pushed that baby head into that cake hard as hell. What'd you say, Faith? Abuse of that child's face. Yo, that baby gonna have a knot. <laughs> <laughs> like that one a person. Not like this, yo. Like, <clears throat> the way he mushed his head into that damn cake like that. They're not mm -hmm. like that other face vid from a couple of weeks back. I just gotta hear that. Later thud. With it I look up top. Listen to this thud, bro. <laughs> you gotta look up top. <laughs> that thud is sick of it. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So Damn. Face, what is you on this week, bro? What you was going through this week, man? <laughs> <laughs> and, and mind y'all, y'all. That nigga face hit us up like yesterday, up. day for yesterday, like to dock it up, y'all. It ready. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, so he had this shit prepped and ready to go. Nigga, what? Oh, the captions even ago. let you know that some shit about to get real. Yeah. From, from from baby's head bouncing off of bunt cakes to the next video, it's called Didn't I Tell Your Ass to Stop Playing? Uh, I don't even remember that shit. The thumbnail for this <laughs> one, y'all. I'm going to let the advertisement roll and everything because y'all got to just see the, 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 the <laughs> thumbnail for this one. This shit don't make no damn sense, bro. Hold up, bro. The hell face about to have us watching, man. Oh, what is this called ready. again? Didn't I tell your ass? Stop playing. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Get take out that. God damn it. Take it off. Now. Take it off. Get over here. Get out of here. <laughs> Take that damn God. thing off. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that a told your ass. A thousand times. Oh, shit. Yo, dumb ass. You know what it is? You know what it is? You can look like a goddamn. Yes, it was. So Yo, you can, can tell like that mama had mermaid. told her like several times, don't put that damn tail on before you go in the pool now. That shit is yeah, that taking pictures and shit. Do not put that goddamn tail on going in the pool that you are not for real area. You are not Ariel. You are you are a girl. Don't you care your ass in that damn pool with that tail on? She'll snuck her ass out there. You can't even swim for no. real. You thought the fish tail The mama help? said no. No. <laughs> Uh-uh. No. Get that guy. My thing is... My thing is... <laughs> that... My thing is, she sat there and watched her for a good minute and then said, no, no, take that up. 
Your dumb ass want to come out there. No, you can't swim. You got get that guy there. Get on. that guy there. She said no. No. Get I don't that even, guy there. I don't, even, I, I don't even know why you got that as a costume. You can't You can't walk in it. You can't walk in the costume. How you even get out there? Did you hop? <laughs> this, this picture tell the whole story. You know? She the potato sack hop all the way to the pool and she can drown. Well, every potato sack race there ever was, so she can go <laughs> to the pool and drown. So dumbass out the goddamn pool. <laughs> Make no goddamn sense. No, your ass can't swim in the first goddamn place. This is why I don't got kids. I can't talk to kids. That's why I don't got no goddamn kids. Because I can't not talk to kids. This is exactly how I would talk. Why your dumb ass in there in the first place? You really thought you were a little mermaid, huh? You can't even walk in that shit. How the fuck you expect to swim? With your dumb ass. I can't believe I hate you. Oh, no kid of mine that <laughs> Ain't no kid of mine that goddamn dumb. I don't make no goddamn sense. Yo, st- stop. I can't, I, can't, I can't fucking breathe. You can't even fit in the goddamn... You, you can barely fit in the damn fish tail. You got your big ass and that goddamn fish tail. Barely walk. <laughs> potato sack race your ass into the goddamn pool so you can drown in the water. <laughs> you thought the bad ass gonna help you. <laughs> Under the sea. Hey, Under the sea. Things could be better if they know what up. Whatever the fuck he said. Yo, yo, yo. I can't breathe. Ain't no goddamn sense, man. Oh man. I should have read up and got me some weed before this before the pod before look, look at a little confused ass face in the water and shit. Like she don't know what's going on. You know what's going on, you're drowning. You chose this. This is the life you chose. You chose it. <laughs> this is the life now, you now you look now you're a beach whale in the water that can't oh, swim God. I'm gonna make no goddamn fun. I can't breathe you under the sea uh, uh, no. me too under me too <laughs> I know that's oh, Take it off. She's a goddamn Take it off. Take that shit off. I would have whooped her ass with the goddamn tail. Wet. While it was wet. The heaviest shit. <laughs> no goddamn shit. You ain't no goddamn goldfish. Ain't no goddamn goldfish. You know, dolphin your ass in the goddamn pool. <laughs> That's why I'm like kids, man. I can't talk to kids. Like. <laughs> I know damn well I can't talk to kids. Mm-hmm. Like I thought I'd give something to laugh at. Oh, God, Jesus, yo. Yo, oh, y'all, yo, if you a parent, <laughs> you have had that moment, yo, when your kid doing some shit. <laughs> be like god damn it yeah. so like i feel that i feel this mother's pain yo because i know all the conversations that came before like i told your ass about this no shit. Get, take, it. Get, 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 get. <laughs> take it off now take it off like she gonna be able to take it off while she drowning <laughs> your mama don't care you know, black mamas don't care. They think Take that's part it off of the now. I can't breathe, mama. You drowning is part of the punishment. That's part of it. You should have thought about that before you went out there. Oh, Thinking God. Ariel geez. and shit. And shit. Bitch thinks she named all the submariner and she want to jump out in the goddamn Yo, pool. 
That is the dumbest shit to say to that little girl right there. That baby sitting there drowning her ass. Take it off. You take it off right now. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm <dying>. died. <laughs> yo, I'm going to tell y'all the dumb kid moment of the, of the year, yo. My mama, I, I had to be like maybe two. Well, one, somewhere in that range, like two, maybe going on three. And my mama had been telling me, like, stop chewing on shit. Stop putting shit in, in your mouth. Like, stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had this thing where I would, like, chew on everything, put everything in my mouth. Like, like I don't know. Like, bite my nails. Like, whatever it was, I just wanted to chew on it. Man, I, I fuck around and put a quarter in my mouth. And that shit went down the pipe. <laughs> and I came around the corner and my mama blew in the face looking like a goddamn blueberry. Yo. I ain't never heard. my mama gave me the hamlet, like, saved my life that with my head. Like, don't you ever do no shit like that again. I'm gonna bring you back. So you I know this away. mama's pain. I have I, I know this mama's pain of like, I have told you, please stop doing it. Now you about to sit here and you gonna make me like it's like it's panic, it's fear. Is I'm pissed off at you for putting this shit on in the first place. Because I told your ass the past six days you can't go in the pool with that shit on. And sit down and play in your room with it. Oh my God, bro. This is hilarious, bro. Oh my God. Get out here. Take that damn thing off. She said, What? Look, girl, you done died. It came back to life. I was like, Why? <laughs> She's singing to the right. And she goes, Bloop, 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 bloop. Take it off. No, ma'am. I cannot. <laughs> Yo, the first little bloop bloop, the f the first the first move, yeah. I thought she was gonna be able to swim with it. I thought she had been practicing this. I was like, okay, she got a little dolphin kick. She about to start. Oh no! Uh uh. Oh. No. Hell no. Hell no. Come on, doing some shit her ass ain't supposed to. Yo. Oh man, yo. Ah. Uh so give me one shit. second, y'all. I gotta go get some tissue, man. Like, oh man, this shit had me fucking crying and shit. Mm -hmm. That's fucking hilarious. Bro. That one my my rib I cage hurt and shit. Mm -hmm. I figured I hit y'all off with something different, you know, and thinking face fear is gonna be some ridiculous vulgar stuff. I get a good laugh every now and then. Especially for those parents who got man, their face. Kids something is wrong with. with you this week, boy. I tell you, bro. You are <laughs> the shit you are coming out with. with a good man. laugh, man. Good laugh. Good what? Laugh. Yo, I, I, a good laugh. <laughs> I was not ready for that one, bro. <laughs> Didn't I tell your ass to stop playing? That is the perfect fucking name of that video. <laughs> good job, face. Oh man, I knew I knew I was gonna get oh, one this week. I I needed that lab to take me into the week. Oh man, bro. Oh, oh my bad, bad, folks. I'm coming with the next I'm man, man. I got some heat on this one. That might have laughed me the fuck out, man. I don't know if I got <laughs> any more in the reserve taste, bro. That shit right there. I'm uh, and, and then Pat and then Pat wouldn't stop, yo. The fucking Pat commentary, yo, was fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, please just stop oh, talking. Yeah. Don't say I'm nothing sorry. else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A whale of a tail. I mean that. Oh man. Jesus Christ, yo. Oh, I fucking love. See, I love this every week. I, this is my therapy. So weeks. This is it. Oh my God! This next, this next video. Excuse me, y'all. It's called "What It." What you think of this? Oh Jesus Christ! I believe we still in the face, oh. the face sector thing. So we we ain't had a dud yet from him. So uh, let's see. Okay, this is a about a familiar face that we all know. We don't love him, but we know him. Uh, to say. <laughs> close, <laughs> brother OJ, <laughs> pit bull head. Uh, so let's see. He said he was afraid to roam the streets of L.A. because 
Nicole's killer is still out there. Yo, but I've heard this. Think I think I've heard this right here. The this rumor of Ron about Bowen OJ's son being the it's not major son. I think the major suspect at the time and the major suspect still to this very day would have to be O.J. son. At the time, uh, he was 24 years old, 5'11", 235 pounds. He was on probation at the time for assaulting this previous employer with a knife. And yet he was never interviewed by the LAPD, the district attorney's office. Three attempted suicide, was taking Depakote to control a rage disorder, had checked in to Cedar sinai Hospital just weeks prior to the uh, murders and told him he was about to raise, that he was out of his medication. We know that two weeks prior to the murders, according to one of his girlfriends, he quit taking the medication. And you know what's happening when you quit taking uh, medicines such as Depakote. There's been a number of people killed as a result of that. Then the, in addition to that, the, uh, uh, the suspect's own boss called us up and gave us a copy of the time card that night and showed us. And when we looked at it, it was a forged time card. Yeah, I remember that. We have a letter that's written to himself where he describes himself as, Dear Jason, there are three of us. He put his items into a storage facility there at Public Storage here in Los Angeles. And in that box contained a series of diaries. And when you read it, it says, it's the year of the knife for me. I cut away my problems with a knife. Anybody who would bother my friends, I would kill them. I'm tired of being Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In the bottom of the box, in addition to that, was a series of photographs. That one in particular photograph shows him wearing the knit cap that was similar to the one found at the crime scene, but he's in bed with his dog. You also know that the hair follicles that were found in the knit cap that was introduced in the evidence in the courtroom came from a black male, an African-American male, and from a dog. But they were never, ever verified to have been coming from O.J. Simpson. But this picture shows a, you know, a strong strong piece of evidence that has never been compared because as i said jason was never interviewed at the time and being on the fact that he was on probation uh he you know checking to cedar sinai hospital we have his medical records we have people who said described him as having a rage disorder even jennifer green prior to hey pat who is this talking I have no clue is this one of the detectives that was on the case or is this just some random person that we posted like, because I, I have heard this theory before, like, of it being I, him. I think it was on that. Uh, I don't know who the hell that's talking, man. I think it was on that documentary that OJ himself did. Like, if I did it, I didn't do it. But if I mm -hmm. did, this is oh, something yeah. like that. But I remember yeah, that I TV think, show came out. Don't fit. Too. The glove don't fit. Must have quit. The don't fit. Um, to me, it sounds like it makes sense. I mean, let's say he, they said Nicole was, um, <laughs> <clears throat> she got a point. She got a point. But um, they said Nicole was messing around with um, homeboy, the other guy, Ron, Ron Goldman, or something like that. Like that uh, Peace, and, Snappy Yankee. <laughs> What's good, King? Um, the son came home, saw them messing around, and then just freaked out and said, "You know what? You did it to my dad." That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's. It's feasible. I think it's like, what do we do about that now, though? Like, at this point, like, you've had, if that's the case, if, if that's true, right? Say we go down this conspiracy theory line, then that means mm -hmm. OJ done had his life ruined for no reason. The <laughs> gold has been fine. sitting there going through turmoil without having justice for all these years for no reason. And this dude, OJ Sutton, could have killed somebody else. So he out there as a threat. So he still need to be, you know, apprehended before he hurt somebody. If that's if all of this is true. So I, I would hope that it ain't. I would hope that it's just, you know. On another core look at it as I wouldn't say that you wait that you destroy OJ life or nothing because if OJ did all the stuff OJ did as far as running from the police, doing that long, slow ass chase, if his son did it, I believe his dad knew about it and was going to do everything he did. He can to protect his son, so trying to make it look like he That's did okay. it. You feel me? So the limelight would go on him, and his son wouldn't even get interviewed because if they had an inkling of a thought back then, they would at least interview him. But as they said, he was never interviewed. So. I believe if his son did it, his dad knew about it. And as any father would, they would have been able to take child. So you yeah. use this celebrity to um as a distraction. Because that That's would real. be more of a that would be more of a big case. 
Let me ask you this. Uh, definitely you face as a uh, fa a fellow father, but as a parent in general, say you. I'm a. I'm gonna make it more deep, I guess. But like, say you are with your significant other, whatever. You are in love with this person, and your <clears throat> child kills them, and you find out about it. What do you do? They killed their mother. Yeah. I, um, um, well, I'm me. So, if I find yeah, out you as you. If I find out before a law do it, it's going to be a six foot old bear somewhere because that child got to go. Sorry, that's just how I get down. Um, you're not going to kill my wife. I don't care who you are. My job is to protect my wife. And it's also to protect my children. So in the same court, if my wife was to kill my child. Peace, Tim, K. Media. Peace, K. I had to go through. You know what I mean? That's just my mentality. is the, the ultimate mm -hmm. protect of, of both sides. Because if you do harm to one or the other, I have to get you, regardless of who you are. So if... Regardless of who you are in the family, if you, you home want to go, you, you got to go. So if my child hurt my wife, you got to go. Um, not to get too deep into personal shit right now, but um, that person happened in my family, not on, on my, my end, but on a close, but not close to end, where a family member was abusing one of their parents, and the other parent had to step in and, you feel me, and do whatever. So, right. I, at that point, what do you do? Do, do you be like, oh, that's my child, and be like, well, no, you, you do what you need to do to protect the person you love, regardless of who who is the victim. If my wife is the victim, I feel sorry for my child because they're gonna get the full veracity of what they never saw before. And if my child is the victim, I feel sorry for my wife because she's gonna see a person she never saw before. So, right, um, it's best that everybody just be peaceful and have nice to each other. So I mean, I'm not that the person to put in that situation. <laughs> and that's just me. Man, I don't know what I do, bro. Like I really like I, I'm, I I was listening I, I to got, you process yeah. through it and like from both angles like I I don't know that I I don't know, bro. Maybe you got to go. That shit. Crazy. I mean, that's just don't. I mean, if I've never seen a situation and never had no idea of the situation, I probably would be in the same mental state, mental place as you right now, not know how to process, but having an idea how it can play out. You feel me? So I know what I would do. You feel me? So no, my sure. child would be fine. <laughs> and I would and I would have no problem because I'm protecting my wife. You feel me? And, and on the other end, I would still have no problem because I'm protecting my child. So either way, I'm still not wrong. I feel you. I I that's a tough one there, man. I mm -hmm. Hopefully, the, with the truth we know is the truth that is, and we ain't, we ain't even got to go down there. But if that, that ever come out that that is the case, that's a hell of a can of worms to go back down. So uh, yeah. let's let's get a palate cleanser in there. Uh, there you go. After, after after that type of convo, um, going back to six brown chicks, man. See what, what the fuck going on over here. This one is called the the attic voyeur. The attic for your. <clears throat> so, my car note was three months past due. So, I broke oh, into no. my bestest house to find something to pawn. While there, her husband came home with our mutual friend. I hid in an attic. They had sex, talked shit about her, and discussed their future. Do I tell her? If so, how? Who we'll say y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody you in the wrong. Everybody is in the fucking. You can't say wrong. shit because you broke in your. That ain't your bestie because you broke in her house just to, to, to sell some shit that you won't gonna get back. You for some bread to do whatever you want to do bread shit. So regardless of what you heard, that's it. You can't use that shit. You can't say shit because then you put yourself in some shit. Now, if you were to lose a friend and be like, well, fuck it, whatever is best for her, I'm going to just suck it up because I know I'm in the wrong, then go for it. You're going to have it like, look, man, 
I broke in your shit the other day, my bad, but when I broke in, your people was in <laughs> fucking and shit. But then again, right, you so see why we're robbing the shit out you. <laughs> you, know, you know when I was in your house yesterday? It's an awkward ass conversation, bro. I got some shit and I came to the window, you, you know. How can you explain that shit? You feel like you, you just can't say shit. You got to take that to the chin, take that to the grave, man. Like, that ain't, that ain't your business. I mean, if that, that ain't your bestie. You just want to gossip and tell some shit because it was your bestie. You wouldn't have been in the fucking house. Shit. You'd have uh, asked so her after some bread. There's no positive way to handle this shit. Because no matter what, somebody is fucked up you in know. this situation. So this is what I suggest you do, friend. Here go the tears take advice for the week. Hey, lady, go to the husband and blackmail him. Then you ain't got to find him in the pawn. You can get your come up off him directly, giving you some cash installments. And maybe blackmail him into, like, doing something right by her or, like, admitting on his own that he fucked around. Then you get paid. He get found out. And, yeah, keep it pushing. But that's the best way. I, that's the only way I can see it going right, other than you just shutting the hell up. Cause, uh, but even then, you know, he gonna keep on fucking, fucking around on her, and uh, it's gonna be real awkward when you, her, and the other friend go out to hang out. And uh, yeah. So um, I have, I have a take. <clears throat> go ahead, Pat. I have a take. No matter what you do, can't be no weirder than what she didn't already done. The wife attracts <laughs> toxic people. If your bestie is robbing your house, your husband what kind of friends you got, boy. She has the the wife has no like no intuition on what's a good person. She's easily naive. <laughs> <laughs> peace, Rodney. Peace, King. <laughs> well, then, well, I'm just well, trying to well, help this brother. this obviously flawed lady find some way out of her pickle. Uh. Me personally, you know, I ain't had to worry about this because I ain't gonna be up in nobody else's attic. I don't even like really going up in my attic. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'd be scared I'm gonna fall through the damn ceiling or some weird shit. And it do be hot as fuck. So I don't even see how she just chilling like, oh, yeah, that's why I'm gonna kick it. I would have just been like, well, I guess y'all got me, y'all. What y'all doing? Now, how we gonna figure this shit out since we all fucked up people? So you be quiet, but not hanging. So how do you explain not hanging with the other person? The other person, like if y'all been like, say y'all like me, me facing Pat, uh, right? And uh, I'm I'm stealing out of Padawan's uh, house, and Face coming there with his wife, and they you know mess around. How, how do I not hang out with Face? Without making it weird to Padawan. Like, how do I explain that to Padawan all of a sudden? We was all tight just the other day, and now all of a sudden I don't hang with him. And <laughs> like, and, and we three tight right. friends. So it ain't like you would think that like if something went on between me and Face, that Padawan would know vice versa. So like that's the that's why I said all she can do is black belt, black belt the cheetah. Then she ain't got a part of her best friend's shit, or if her best friend can keep all her shit. And you know, maybe maybe she can get the dude to do the right thing. But I mean, at this point, they her best friend need to find better best friends and and better associates, and better people, better relationships. She she evidently <laughs> attract toxic people. <clears throat> it is very crackish. It is very crackish. I'm very crackheadish. You ain't lying. Hey man, but you know, crackheads be having them morals. They be having them street morals. You know, I ain't take all your aluminum. You know, so you good. That's how they be looking at shit. You know? and, and how I left much you shit, some copper. And how much shit are you stealing man, for a car man, note that's man. that's three months past due? Your car note is three months past due. Maybe that's she got least. a bullshit car. That's like only Please. worth you know. She don't pay for ninety nine dollars a month. That's at least nine hundred. <laughs> At least not, honey. So I mean, she you still like that house. And Pond don't five. be giving no good money. She must got some hella, some hella good shit. You got offer up? P? You got a PS Five or something? 
Like, what you know what I just on? noticed though? All right, she, so she says she was in the attic, right? She didn't get caught, obviously, but she mm -hmm. was there long enough to hear the dude. So that means she can't. She left out of the house or left out of that attic after the dude and the lady had the other the other friend had left. She never said she didn't still take the shit to pawn. She just mm -hmm. said that she know about what happened. Yeah, <laughs> uh, ma'am, your only way out of this is to get that pawn ticket, give it to this lady so she can get her shit back. Uh, pay for her to get her shit back if it needs any fees, and uh, just lose this friend. But it ain't no way you make this right because when this lady find out, she gonna beat your ass, she gonna beat the husband ass, and she gonna beat the other friend ass. So I, I think it's just three ass whoopers coming around. Shady right, <laughs> right. Exactly. I hope they repo um, they, yeah, her car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that that, yeah. that friend gonna repo her ass for stealing her shit. Uh, this next video she that we had on palate in. cleanser. She probably joined in after their mutual friend. Well, that would explain why she's confused as to what she said, as opposed to just knowing. I'm, and she ain't saying nothing. Two funerals and an ICU. <laughs> Which one you leave in ICU? Do you say the husband or do you say the best friend that told you about it after you whip her ass for stealing? The one, the one that's stealing, probably in ICU. Yes, because if he had been staying vigilant, if he had had his antennas uh, instead of sitting around... Uh, Doing the horizontal hoochie, maybe he would have seen the shit getting stolen. Y'all got a ring camera system or something in the house? What's I don't think on? they did. I don't did think it? they. I don't think rings mean that much in their household. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like camera system. You know, you got the front, and then she went through the wall, you no, know, the window. I think if she went through the wall, like she Kool Aid man, she went through the window or something. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> you you gonna take the stairs or the window? <laughs> we take the stairs. What he said? I would have I would have made up a story, act like I did it to catch the husband as a favor to her. Oh. Cause he, anything he said at that point would be a. But how do you explain knowing like any detail? You had to like do it in a way where like you don't give no detail. Cause as soon as she be like, well, how you hear all that? If they was at the crib, unless you blame it on one of the, uh, you might be on to something, Tim. Okay? You might have found the one loophole that saves her from getting her ass beat for stealing. The girl, I might too, get her out of it. The girl be too emotional about the situation to even ask why you were in the house in the first place. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna be till later on that she realized why the fuck was this bitch in my house in the first place. That later on ass whooping gonna be like when you when you thought your mama forgot to whip your ass and you went to sleep and then she come then, catch you out of, come catch you out of the bed. Oh, I ain't forgot. Wah, wah. That's gonna be one of them type of ass whooping. They gonna be coming in from the club. They gonna be all drunk. She be like, "Girl, I love you. You my best friend. You like my sister. Should have thought about that when you were stealing my shit." Well, she ain't gonna know that she was stealing her shit. She probably, if she first found out or whatever, she's gonna be like, oh, so you were with them doing the thing anyway. Like, she might have thought that she was already part of it by the time she realized something. And then she go ahead and then she, then the girl's like, no, I was trying to find something to pawn. And Indeed. then still get her ass whooped. Indeed. Well, folks, uh, who knows what the hell going on, but uh, thank God your household ain't like that. And uh, mm -hmm. I hope none of y'all have to experience it. Uh, so for this next video, it's called Second Amendment. I don't know what's about to happen. I'm assuming this is a Padawan vid, though. So let's see mm -hmm. what happens. Uh, Second Amendment. And y'all know we are very strong advocates for the Second Amendment. So uh, Damn right. Second Amendment is a shit. Man, me too. The worst one I caught, man. Uh, coming out of the shower, I my mama hadn't said nothing. Like, mm -hmm. She said she was going to beat me, and this was like at 2.30. It's like seven o'clock. She done cooked dinner. She done came home from work. We done, we done watched the show on TV. Everything cool. She ain't said nothing else about it. I go to take a shower for the next day. I done laid all my clothes for the next day. I think I'm about to get fresh. Everything cool. I get out the shower and she come in with the belt right then. I don't know if y'all ever got a wet ass whooping, but like the mm -hmm. belt stick to your skin and like pull, like that leather pull mm -hmm. on your shit. Boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> boy. 
talking about a nigga moving like a runaway slave boy. Whoo! That one of the worst ones I've ever caught. But I deserved it because I used to do some knucklehead ass shit. So you know how that be. Taught your character back in the day. What's it, Greg? Yeah, we're good, fam. Peace, King. We about to watch some Second Amendment shit. Oh, picked you up from school to whoop your ass. Oh, yeah. Gave you a field yeah, trip ass up. whooping. Yeah. My, mm. my, my mom was good for that one, too. But she liked to let it simmer. She used to like to let it boil for, like, the whole time. So I'd be sitting at home just wondering when it's going to happen. And, you know, you don't want to bring it back up because she might have actually forgot this time. But she never forgot. She always remembered it. Every damn time. Yeah. Mm. But the Second Amendment, y'all, thank God she ain't used that on me. Mm. <laughs> on God, I got the sound up. On nah, God, nah. I got the it's, sound up. It's one of those vivid cameras, so they don't got the audio. Oh, okay. Saw that smoke, though. Saw that flash and that smoke. Your dumb ass then kicked in the door, waved in the four four, and that four mm -hmm. four started blasting back out at your ass. Mm -hmm. That shit did not go how they expected, boy. Mm -hmm. and it was Look, a bunch of them. so you done prepared with it no like gun. Four of them. What did you it's think was gonna happen when you kicked the door? You thought they was just gonna be like, "Oh, come on in, welcome. <laughs> Y'all want some sweet tea? I got some. I got some food in the back. You know, I got some leftovers from dinner. Y'all want something to eat? Like, no, nah, Nick. <clears throat> just kicked in their door with nothing in your hand. Your hand has mm -hmm. a bag in it. You you brought a book bag to the situation. You deserve everything you get. People, stop going to folk house. You go to somebody's house, you deserve anything no. you fucking get. Because you roll no. up in my house, I'm going to exercise all of the Second Amendment. Every one of every Second Amendment I got in the clip. Every piece of it. So, uh, shout out to that homeowner. Protect your castle at all costs. Because people out here nuts. And uh, if, the, if our... Uh, Brethren and sisters from the Caucasus Mountains uh, can, you know, stockpile their arms and talk about they in the militia. And damn sure we can uh, handle laws for these Negroids that want to try to run up in your crib. Wish you would run up in my shit like that. As soon as you kick, I'm blowing a hole right through your big toe. Right through the big toe. Right through the big toe. Right the big toe. But, uh... My pinky toe. From somebody getting their dough kicked in... For somebody getting their teeth caved in. Um, this next video is called Was He Wrong? And I've actually seen this video already, but I'm I'm I, if you have not seen this, this is good. Um, you're gonna enjoy this, but I do want to know is he wrong? Because it's a lot going on in this video, and not is he wrong for all of it, but is he wrong for a very specific part is what I think Pat is asking in this video. So let's check it out. Is he wrong? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Who the hell started playing jock jams as after the ass whooping? Mm -hmm. who, who kicked up the sound? <laughs> who kicked up the music? Now, is he wrong? And if y'all know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this very specific part right there. Where he hit her. Um, now, I will say, I'm going to say this. I'm going to let y'all take it, it before I go. Let me think on it. because it's, it's wrong. It's wrong in a perfect world. It's wrong that he hit the lady. But fight or flight, when something happens to someone, their reaction is is usually automatic. A lot of times with that reaction, you, you don't think. So you're just going off an of instinct, pretty much. And if you hit someone, I don't know if People go in and hit people expecting them not to hit back. Peace, Dr. Queen. And Your presence alone is uh, always a pleasure and always in, uh, peace, just another peace, boom you, to our existence. So thank you for gracing us with your presence. 
And we appreciate it, man. We we gonna keep on working to keep people like you around that 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 uh, support us. So we love you, thank you, and you have a good, good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you saw this one too, huh, Defraud? Yeah, this this um, I'm t it's tough on because uh, on one hand, man, I really don't believe it's ever a good reason to put your hands on the woman as a man. It's, um, it's never a good reason or whatever. It's never a good reason. But <sighs> I, I get it. I understand, no, bro. You know you what I mean. Hit, you wouldn't hit an angry animal, or whatever. Not to call the man an animal, but you're already starting it off. Or whatever. Yeah. If you know, if you know that you can't defend yourself, or whatever, and oh, like you really hyped up your husband in this case. You know what I'm saying? Now that you put now because you. What you you so prideful yourself now you got your yourself and the husband in danger or whatever yeah because yeah he was MGG I'm MGG gonna tell you who right wrong now. in this I Ain't got balling it. MGG wasn't playing it you don't want drama no yeah nope. he hit he hit the shit out old boy yo he he hit him into a into a whole new world and I I don't even think he really I don't. I don't think he really put as much strength in her hit as he did old boy. He, he <laughs> oh, tempered whatever. her hit to her. Yeah. He, oh, he gave her a bespoke I, I feel like at the la he went off instinct and at the last moment he might have pulled back because, uh, because she got right back the fuck up and you know what I'm saying and got in his face. That's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, okay, the, the question was, is he wrong? Was he wrong? Was he wrong? I'm going to say yes, kind of, because he hit a woman, but I understand. I'm going to tell you who is the most wrong person in this whole video, and it's this guy. Because this should have been stopped right here. Mm -hmm. My wife is not going to be nowhere yelling into a man's face. If no, the no, argument, no, no, no. if the argument has gotten to the point where the disagreement and got to the point where my wife has been disrespecting enough where she feels that, and it's with another, it's with a man. That's when she sits down. I get up and me and that brother had that conversation. You feel me? Like she gets a, she gets taken out of that situation because what I don't never agree with is a man. All right, like going back and forth with a woman, a woman going back and forth with a man. Like it just don't make no sense. Like. At the end of it, the woman can't really do what she want, what she could do if it really needed to go there. The man can't yeah. do what he need to do if it really go there. So what's the purpose? So like, I, I feel he, like he, a husband's supposed to, to step to in and move his wife. Like, hey, hey, babe, you go ahead and sit down. I got it. And then yeah. let that conversation continue between them two dudes. Because I feel like maybe if he has got his ass up instead of sitting there lollygagging, watching this shit be brew. Maybe she don't keep going to the point where it get to the point where now he got to be, you know, snoozing in the middle of the game and shit. But you got to say something to her. Like, like look, look, babe, at, look at him, man. He, you got to have some conversations with your women before you go out. Like, she should know, like, all right, babe, you with me. There's no reason for you to have to defend yourself to that level. So you should not be in nobody's face like that. You shouldn't be up in no man's face like that's out here with me. Like, you should carry yourself enough to where she don't even feel like she need to do all this. Like it should have been a quick, hey babe, he tripping. Can you talk to him? No. I have a, a devil's advocate point of view on this. Now, you see how everyone instantly took to the chivalry role. You should never put your hands on a woman. Now, do you feel that like some women know that's instilled in society? So they feel yeah. entitled to be able to do stuff like that and expect them not to have a reaction. Especially her. So yeah. Absolutely. Is the reaction yeah. getting dustful or is the reaction yeah, they get still wrong? See, that's the thing. Like, what, what I'm saying is, I feel like two things can be true. I feel like it can be morally wrong to hit a woman, but still understandable. So it's like, I feel like he's wrong, but I get it. Like, I'm not. Like don't to condemn him in this situation mm -hmm. because she put it. She she wrong for putting her hands on him. Like I think just putting hands on folk, un period. For, for, unless it's to like defend a child or defend somebody who can't defend themselves or like to defend yourself. Like it really ain't no reason to get, like, get to no point where you putting hands on anybody. So she did wrong for like kicking it off. Like she's 
got a big like if it's a pad, let's put this pad to perspective. I'm gonna give him like maybe 15 to 20 percent of the wrong black man because he could have at some point backed off. He saw the woman was tripping. He know what he probably gonna go to. He knew himself. He could have you know be like, all right, ma'am, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. You go ahead, ma'am. You need to go ahead and chill or something. Just because he know how that situation is going to end up for himself if it go there. But mm-hmm. that's only like 20% of the blame. I'm going to give her a good what left, a good 40% of the blame. Because she's provoking everything. Like, she's the catalyst that, like, without her, none of these people interact. So, like, she's bugging, clearly. And then she put her hand on this man, which kind of initiates him then losing his fucking mind and defending himself. So, she got 40%. And this dude got the other 40% because he's the husband of this woman. And as a couple, y'all are a unit. Like, Mm y'all, right. There you go. There you go, Nappy. Like, you you Mm -hmm. gotta, you can't be no cuckold dude that sit there and don't do nothing. Like, you gotta, yeah, push, slap, or whatever, she's wrong. But before she touched him, this dude sitting here chilling. And, and um, dude, trying to talk, you could tell by his name. Oh, it's 40, he's 40, trying 20. To talk, he's trying to talk to the husband the whole time. Like, he's trying to talk to his husband the whole time to calm her. See that? See that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so hold on. Hold back. Did he push he her first? Oh, oh, no. Did he, did he mush her for what is this right here? What's happening right here? He trying to push her back. That, that her first back. initial move back, or did she like grab him? Because I can't see their hands right here. So did he, she like grab he, his wrist or something? He got she got too close to his face. She he tried to push her back. Try to push her back. Got it. Or whatever. And then she did that and then she slapped him. Or whatever. Tiz, I'm sorry. I uh I'm sorry. I disagree. Because <laughs> if anything, look at if anything, he got five percent because he shouldn't, you know, down to that far. He should he should have controlled. But I could say shoulda shoulda all day. She from this point, we don't know how far along she was provoking that man. Like, That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like he, she could have again. Him the this whole couple night. definitely got the most wrong. Like because they're the they're the problem here. I'm I'm gonna put. I'm going to put the onus on the person that's starting it the most. You know what I'm saying? I will, I will give, I will give dude probably like 45% and the rest is 50 because she should have sat her ass down or whatever. Yeah. Like she's her own human being. You know what I'm saying? She should have sat her ass down or whatever. Man. He, he still gets the blame because you need to control that like yes control that but that's all i'm saying the like, situation they they sharing yeah. the blame in this one because like she but gotta have some self-control and he gotta have more say so in his relationship where he can check his woman and she recognized it like oh my babe got my back right now like on let the, me let, long, let me let him handle it like or she has enough trust in him that means she don't think that he gonna do nothing so she feel like she gotta do it in the long run if there's continuous like history of situations like this definitely is his fault more definitely because he's he's um encouraging that shit but in this one instance or whatever i only know of this one instance i'm gonna put it on her because it's just like faith said we're in a society where they know you know women know if you do anything to them or whatever it's gonna be a problem or whatever so That's true. her knowing that not only that, let's put on top of it. He's a black man. <laughs> he's a black man. He's a black man. So on top of that, you're provoking that. And it's a dang racist situation. Because if anybody else look at it from another lens or whatever, he's going to be in the wrong just, just before we even start the video. But I will say, in this next video, that's how the husband should handle it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, definitely, I, I definitely agree. And I definitely think that... Uh... The husband need to take some boxing lessons or something, man. Because the way mm-hmm. he didn't, bo- he didn't block, he didn't dodge. He just ate them shits to the face, like no, nah, he, nah, he nah, went in, nah, he went in nah. trying to talk away out of it before. That's what it looked like. He looked like he went in trying to like, like talk his 
talk the dude down or whatever, and dude was already on fight mode. You're right. right. That's real. Um, I ain't gonna lie, guys. It's getting late. Uh, so y'all know us, man. We got we got jobs uh in the morning, and most of y'all do too. So I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. We're gonna hold some of these topics for next week for show. Um, but I do want to go out on that random video. Uh, Gator Girl is still in the chat somewhere. Uh, if you can remind me, what was the name of that video that she said when we was listening to Donda? It was something uh, with the uh, on on somebody Caldwell or something like that. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, Gator Girl, hold me down, hold me down. I, gotta I don't scroll remember. Up. Yeah, can you find it in the uh, chat that you on? I can't see it here. It won't let me go that far back. But uh, yeah, if Gator Girl is still here, if you want to hit me with it, if not, I'll just go to one or whatever. One of our videos anyway. I can't. Cool beans. Pat, what's the best video we got left? Go to the next one, because that's the way, that's the husband that- Gas Station should. Karen? Yeah, that's the way he should have reacted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we ending tonight on the random video. It's called Gas Station Karen. Um, this is the follow up to the last video we just watched, and this is how the husband, this is how the husband should have actually uh, jumped in and handled things. So uh, before we bounce, man, love y'all. Thank y'all for joining us yet another week. Um, more podcast love coming throughout the week. Like I said, the fantasy football blog dropping. Full episode 40 dropping. Um, we got rtrayclothing.com out now. Store is active. Go ahead, check it out. The pastels on there, all dope. the good stuff. Please dope. check it out. We got bucket. fire, fire dope. designs. Um, check out brother dope. Rodney Sala, brother of a certain age. Check out his page. Um, he got dope and interviews on dope. there. And he got an interview with us coming out in the next couple of weeks, so y'all would definitely see that, and it's dope. So y'all can get to know a little bit more Love about us, um, kind of get some of the sauce and the magic behind us as the partner. So uh, be looking out for that, man. And um, yeah, man, we just love y'all. Have a great week. Hope tonight was able to kind of, you know, get you talking about some stuff, get you thinking, but also just give you some fun. You know, we like to keep it light on Sunday night, you know, ease you into your week with some just joy. And uh, hopefully, if y'all didn't, hopefully that good laugh that I got helped cleanse you and gave you a good laugh as well, man. Um, but be good. And let's meet uh, Gas Station Can. Right after, I remind y'all, I have been tears, one third of the partners. And I have been with my bros. Donda, 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 Donda. The other third of the partners, Paddle Want, Paddle, Donda, Donda, Donda. Dramatic pause. <laughs> She's a fucking jackass. Hey, you know what it is, man. It's nice in the place. Thank y'all for joining. Donda. See y'all next time. Donda. Indeed, Donda. man. We love y'all. Uh, have Donda. a great week. And let's meet Gas Station Karen's husband. Donda. Uh, who should, what, what should have happened at the football game where the man got knocked the fuck out? Beat the Fuck off, literally get beat the fuck off. He don't know you. You don't know him. You don't know her. Fuck you. Get in the car. Aaron, get your stupid ass in the car. Get in the car, Aaron. Get in the car, Aaron. You do not know him. You do not know her. You don't know anybody around here. You are not special. Get your stupid ass. You got to get like me. Oh Would shit! Be well, long. I'm glad we I'm glad we got that win out here as black folk. Cause damn, would like knocked out loss or like decision loss? Like did he get put to sleep? Like old oh, boy? Oh fuck! Y'all heard it here first. If you did not buy the fight tonight, man, Woodley has officially lost. Split decision. Okay, okay. See, this is what happened when you. Oh, we need a real a real boxer to come in and beat this dude ass for real. Mayweather ain't do it. He was too nice to him. He needs somebody to come in and beat his ass Mayweather, real. Mayweather, the hardest brother. Oh. oh, see, see, I can't never remember these. Man, these two niggas look alike and shit. I, 
They both jerks. I don't know which one is which. But it, somebody need to beat one of these fuckers. I know it ain't a way to where they, they should still be running around here like undefeated. By shit. decision. Like, I don't give a damn. Somebody need to whoop their ass. This shit is getting ridiculous. This a, this, this is by decision. They're going to they gonna say this shit's fake. That's crazy. Yo. It is. Yeah, yo. Yeah, like, it's your rig, man. Mayweather knocked his ass out the last fight and held him up just so he, he can make it through the fight. He, oh, he, oh, his technique. I knew it was going to be with the technique. That's the only thing about them MMA fighters. They be having the power and shit, but their their technique for boxing is horrible a lot of times. Like, they don't... Yeah. Damn, man. Well, y'all heard it here first, man. Thank you, Gator Girl, for giving us that uh, breaking news. Woodley has lost, folks, so if you did not get the fight, just know, oh, go get them man. highlights, because I'm sure they streaming all across YouTube right now, so go get the highlights, because, uh, damn. Uh, say he rock Paul mm -hmm. once, but the technique was terrible. So, people, get your technique right out here, man. And uh, have your technique right at work this week. Hope everybody has a prosperous week. Thank you again, Gator Girl, for the love on the um, – on the buy me a coffee, man. That was super blessed. Thank Appreciate your love. Appreciate the love. Uh, always dope to have one of the queens of the pods in the pod. Peace out to all of our people. Y'all know I'm going to try to make sure I hit everybody, but if I miss somebody, please blame the head, not the heart, and please blame stream y'all for not letting me see the whole chat. Um, but peace to Queen Gator Girl. Peace to Last Call. Peace to Rodney Sadler. Peace to Andrea Jackson. Peace to Greg. Peace to Nappy Yankee. Peace to the Fraud and Charlatans. Dr. Queen Nikki Proctor Walden. Um, peace to TMK Media for popping through. Uh, let's see who else we got here. I want to make sure. Peace to that sexy toy lady for popping through. Peace to the King Jesus Perez for showing some love and popping through. Um, Cliff Williams on Facebook. Yes, peace to the Facebook family. Peace to Cliff Williams. Thank you for joining the conversation tonight, King. Damn um, right, damn right, damn right. Peace to Queen Miss VSNC09. Uh, Damn, we had a nice little full house of the pod squatters tonight, man. We had the whole squad in the building tonight. Uh, but if we missed you, please, again, blame the head, not the heart, and blame stream y'all for being horrible. Love y'all. Have a great week. Um, be good to each other and yourselves, man. Peace. Peace out.